Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough. It is a treat to be back. Uh, today it's Operation Severed Rain, where we're extracting supplies from Advent. That should be easy-ish, but we got faces infiltrators, so that might be a little bit more difficult. We got uh, the absolute newbie squad, but power in numbers, as they say, so coming in with quite a few um, quite a few of them and we have only 12 enemies so let's jump into it Advent forces are in the process All right. of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves locate and mark the crates with fabulous and firebrand will handle the rest Good. We are starting almost at high ground, at our fingertips, as they say. So it would be great. Let's hope that these crates are actual crates and not just the fake ones. It would be great if we could just get a couple of those crates in. Up. Position. We're scouting with Ataxia, who is going to be the leader of this pack. Sniper Monroe's um, Roger that. might position themselves there. No need to ask twice. Location confirmed. And Archangel moves over here as well. The Sparks have a very easy time to take high ground and should always try to do that. I'm on it. Did I just... did I not upgrade his weapon? Well, that's stupid, I'm just realizing. Sniper to a high ground. Enemy patrol on the move. Successfully so, but barely sp uh, spotted out. Uh, you know, I mean, we could get three crates right away, right? Yep, right. Might as well there now. push on and try to get more. I have eyes on the enemy. Got it, moving. Um yeah, over here and then we can simply move up. Next turn. These are faces ones, I can almost guarantee that. Moving to position. Eyes on the prize. I'm on it. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Overwatch active. Over here. Oh, more enemies, okay. Well, we're being spotted out now. It's gonna happen. This position has been compromised. Good hit. <laughs> nice hit. Let's try. And you, good try. And now Ataxi has also lost his concealment. It is a 
as per the usual we're triggering it all right we're picking up a steady signal from the transponder firebrand is en route to make a pickup this is firebrand evac request confirmed hold tight <coughs> okay well 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 Taxia just does what the Taxia always does. Rocking on like a hurricane. And moves to here. then everybody gets some for more crit a little bit extra hit points try to get that rocket here good hit fantastic one getting the drone quickly Good. Both of our mechs are using overdrive because we have triggered so many of them. Might use the flanking position here to our advantage. 18 points of damage. Oh, that was good. One crit, one grazed. Far enough away to not be hit. That's how it's done. Nicely got them. And a heavy lancer. Um. Uh, the problem with all of this is you are now standing in the way of me crowd controlling that Lancer. Unfortunate. just give you more hit points and take the beating of the Lancer despite the little mistake with blocking uh, the position of all the rest of the turn was quite successful I think
think there is only one more pack left after this. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1-5. Good. Very nice. All right. So let's take a good look here. I think we need to forfeit this loot. There are some more boxes to be have uh, to be had over there. <laughs> behave! Oh boy. But I think we can contest this one here. Very good. So giving up like that one chest here is not that bad. Typically, you want to make sure that you're <clears throat> that you're at least getting the majority of the boxes. And really, the difference between let's say eight and nine isn't or 10 and 11 isn't that ground shattering there are heavy diminishing returns in play Got it. good we will breach up there soon All right, I'll go. Texa comes over here and now it's just a matter of not triggering I'm anything going. All right, bye bye, dear crate. It was nice meeting you. Advent just dare lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to. Central, of course, doesn't like it at all. Not a single bit. But we get three crates in return, so. Central, suck up that criticism. Oh, could move to here. Not sure what we're going to find down there. Is this going to trigger? Oh, come on, really? Well, the answer is, of course, it is going to trigger, like, big times. An ultra trigger. Alright, if there has ever been a time to deploy two grenades, then it was now. You guys get disoriented. And you guys get shredded and remove Overwatch mainly. Very good. Oh, that heavy mech is nasty. Move up. Heavy Grenadier, difficult to control. Let's use the Heavy Lancer then. Good, it's panicked, so no Stun Lancer activities. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Ooh, that could be a nice hit. Let's do this. That that will also shred the back line.
Good, listen. I'd love if this was shooting a little bit further, but it is unfortunately not. So <clears throat> let's get these guys down. That's a nice flanking angle. But I think in this particular circumstance, I would like to get up here and finish this mech. Wow. Grazing shot down to one hit point. Let's get the long ball. I love it. Hmm. The text here. Yeah. If we had death from above on him, it wouldn't be a problem at all. Unfortunately, we don't. Which brings me to the next problem, that guy right there. to stand in the open we need to get him down that's the problem A good hit well one could get us there but not quite to that position okay that'll be in the open I hate that position but I hope that uh, blade storm in this position will actually kill him or stun him. All right, end of turn. Not great. I don't like our position. Blade Master did not hit as hard as it should, and now we're paying the price for that openness. Yeah. Now we're paying the price for that openness. Lance heals himself. We're moving down here. Counter marking the crates. There's another one that I might be able to get. Just 
get rid of one of them and heavily damage the other one or maybe we're dealing absolute minimum garbage damage in which case yeah not great <laughs> so many grace shots you gotta take it with a se uh, sense of humor when the game is throwing these curveballs at you Not good. <clears throat> Move down. Kill the Lancer. Soul fire. Still not a kill. Tired of waiting around. I'm on it. Our insanity chance for him is sixty percent. I think we're just going to soul fire and with blade storm he should die. Or he dies right away. <clears throat> fit a little bit of uh, loot there so here it is. well Advent got his uh, their second crate pick up some more loot that's actually very good loot moving to here Ready to engage. reload Moves to there. Zulu moves back. Um, we're moving back. We're moving back. Wolfgang is moving back. And moving to up there. And then handing over an action <coughs> to get Hexer Not a problem. closer to the exit. Fabulous. That's 10 crates, which is more than I would have anticipated we could get. I mean, keep in mind this complete newbie team, right? Granted power in numbers and granted we do have some good equipment, but I think they've done remarkably well against overwhelming odds. No, I was a... it even uh, counts as a difficult mission. And we'll get a lot of promotions out of that. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I appreciate that a lot. It was uh, it was a fun mission. 
in 10 crates i think that's over 100 supplies again so keep always in mind that is like two plasma weapons right there and with the extra loot that we've gotten oh, it's maybe another plasma weapon good we now have corporal uh they he has one more promotion in it hexer Ooh, cyclic fire i know what i was waiting for you do have 18 right yeah 18 ability points yeah okay <coughs> What are we going to do? Oh yeah, we wanted him to uh, to be support with fire options. I think he's going to be an excellent build. All right, interference. This one is great. That one isn't bad either double tap that is great as well and implacable he has really good skills hedge knight reduce the aim penalty thank you i was hoping the psi operators would actually get a promotion oh yeah wolfgang got one and the max got one which is great. Uh, great. Yeah, 100 supplies, right? Good, Wolfgang. Um, Fuse is good. I like it. Facebook isn't bad either. I like it. Soul Steel opens um, a full route for more damage options, specifically Void Rift. Fuse is good as well. You know what? We're going to do that. Cool. Our training will be swift. And I think... Oh wait, one thing that I forgot is we do have a bit of squad management that needs to be done. So Aspirants, we got Jimmy, who is no longer part of them. And do we have a couple of other soldiers? Only Rooks. Okay. Well, I think that's still a very, very strong... Uh, squad. We could theoretically put kind of grenadier. Well, that's two grenadiers. Wow, we're having a lot of grenadiers. Uh, grenadier, grenadier, ranger, shinobi, and sparks. That yeah, it's the frame for yet another chapter. But what I learned is you can have apparently even too many soldiers in long war because we are not being able to field all of them, at least not properly. So HQ assault is happening here, right? So we're liberating that. I wonder, should we do another HQ assault down here and liberate that as well? Because we do have enough intel to uh, also push forward uh, to here. And we're getting a very, very steady uh, results with our recruitments all over. This here is, is a bit anti-cyclical because we're not recruiting. We already started, right? So that's why it's 14 Vigilance. But that mission can happen anytime. So let's just deploy a team there because why not? How, how do the Space Wolves feel about that assignment, huh? Mm, they're pretty injured. That's how they feel currently about it. How do the Imperial Fists feel about this assignment? 
I think that would not be too bad. Sergeant, Staff Sergeant, Staff Sergeant, Tech Sergeant. Just looking. Mm. These guys could do it. Matter of fact, that is actually a good team. Shinobi, Gunner. I think we're taking the Grenadier out and instead use Avalon's Corporal. Azizal Darkrai. Let me do this real quick. All right, they got a few weapon upgrades. Here to spend some money for that, but that's very well worth it. And in the meantime, we got a resistance haven defense, which we immediately need to take care of. That's going to be interesting because a chosen is going to run right into it. Let me get a team together for that. All right, used the opportunity to upgrade the weapons of the Spark. Uh, we are a little bit lower on our supplies now, but that is exactly where the next mission is going to start at Operation Bone Giant. And uh, that's the end of today's episode, I am afraid, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy Long War of the Chosen, leave a comment and a like down below. I mention that every episode and only a few do it. So please be so kind and help out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.